All right then, gang. So when you're using the just-in-time compiler, you also have access to some extra features that come along for the ride in version 2.2 of Tailwind. So the first ones I want to show you are the extra variant classes that we can use. And again, these are only available when you use the just-in-time compiler. So I've got the just-in-time compiler running down here and it's watching for changes. So when I start to add new classes, it's going to automatically rebuild the CSS for me behind the scenes, right? So let's try some of these new variants. So in the HTML page, first up, we're going to have a look at the first letter variant, which targets the first letter of some text inside a tag. So for example, in this H3 tag right here, we can add in a class, which is first hyphen letter and then a colon and then after the colon is a class we want to apply just to the first letter of the text inside this h3 so i could add the class font hyphen bold to make the first letter bold right so i'm also going to do another to make the first letter a different color so again i can just say first hyphen letter then a colon and then we can use another class so text hyphen green hyphen 500 for example and this is going to make just the first letter this green color so if we save this file now tailwind is going to run the magic and rebuild our css on the fly using the just in time compiler and add these required variants and classes to our output css and now in the browser we can see that the first letter of this h3 is indeed bold and also green awesome okay then so let's try some more Next, I'm going to add two classes to this unordered list. The first one, my-4, to give it some margin in the y direction. And also, I'll add list-disk so that the li tags inside get those disks at the start. These are just two normal Tailwind classes, nothing new yet. But now, I'm going to use the marker variant, which is used to style the disk or the number, if this was an ordered list, instead at the start of each li tag. So I can say marker then a colon and then any class i want to apply to the marker so i'll add the text hyphen blue hyphen 600 class to make the marker blue now notice i'm adding this class on the ul tag and not to the li tags individually and that's okay because the styles cascade down onto the li tags but we can override it on each individual li tag if we wish so for example i could do that on the first one i could add in a class and the class is going to be the same one as we just did to the ul so i'm going to copy that and paste it in here and then all i need to do is change the color to maybe green 500 instead of blue 500 or blue 600 rather and now the rest of the li tags should still be blue but this first one should be green and we can see in the browser this has worked awesome all right then, so next up, we're gonna try the selection variant, which is used to style text when it's selected or highlighted on a web page. For example, I can highlight one of these li tags right here, and you can see the default background color when we do this is blue for the selected portion. So what we can do is change that with the selection variant. So we'll do this on the second two li tags. First of all, I'm going to alt click to select both of these and then we can add class attribute to each one. All right. So then I'm going to use the selection variant. So we just say selection, then a colon and then the class that we want to use, which is going to be BG hyphen pink hyphen 500. And then what I'll do is come to the second one and just change pink to purple. So it's BG hyphen purple 500. So now when we select text from the second li, the background should be pink, and from the third one, it should be purple. So let's take a look. So now if I select some of this text, we can see that the middle one has the pink background, cool, and the bottom one has the purple background, awesome. All right, so there's one more variant I wanna show you, and that's the first line one. So to demo this, I'm gonna make a new paragraph tag below the ul, and inside that, I'm gonna add some dummy lorem text. So now i'm going to add a class to this p tag and i'm going to say first line and then a colon and then add a class that i want to apply to the first line of text inside this paragraph so i'm going to use the font hyphen semi bold one and that means style just the first line of text using this font semi bold class so let's save that 
And now in the browser, we can see that the first line has that semi bold text. Good. So they were just some of the added variants that can be used with the just in time compiler. And again, without using the just in time mode, you can't use those extra variants. There are more as well, which you can find on the docs. So have a play around with those. And next up, we're going to talk about another feature that we can use arbitrary values.